What's up YouTube, welcome to the Droid Live channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick overview of the Echo Wizard. It's an all-in-one type of wizard, very similar to the Airs Wizard. It's going to have um, community builds, its own builds, some tools you can use such as backup, maintenance, viewing your logs, um, speed tests, so, so it's very similar, um, just different different stuff it has inside um, in comparison to the Ares Wizard. But let's go ahead and take a look at what it has to offer. Uh, I do have the Echo, Echo Wizard open right now. As you can see here in the top section, you're gonna see latest news, Twitter, YouTube, so you can access their, um, their information that way. There's a little section here for builds, add-ons, community builds, search builds. Um, let's go ahead and click on Echo Builds. You got the Vibe, the Horus, um, adult versions, adult versions. Let's move down here to the tool section. As you can see here, you can see backup, restore function, maintenance tools. I was gonna click that. You can clear your cache, package, so packages, thumbnails. It's even got a weekly auto clean feature. Set up auto clear as specific. Um, a specific size, um, so it's very cool. It's got a view log uh, for any errors you might have. Um, that that one's pretty cool. Uh, some other functions as well underneath here. Go ahead and exit out of that. Oh, let's go back to the Echo Wizard. Hit back. Okay, got some extra fixes and tweaks. Um, Looks like a sports level fix, play core factor, XML, Rua, empty. Not sure what these are, but this definitely has some kind of issue beforehand with the sports level. So it's a fix. Mm, advanced settings to tweak your buffering settings and, and such. You can do it here according to your device. So you have a fire stick and you want to tweak your, your settings, you know, where it's, you know, at its best and you want to use the one of these things. Custom key maps, speed tests, a little Android APK section here, um, some other stuff along those lines. So overall, a pretty, pretty awesome all-in-one wizard. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into how to actually install this onto your Kogi device. All right, so at the Kogi home screen, you want to go to System, you want to go to File Manager, click there, click on Add Source, Click on the first box above, type in http colon forward slash forward slash tdp repo dot com. Make sure that link is correct. Go ahead and click done. In the second box below, you want to type in um, tdp is what I typed in. You can type in whatever you want. Click done. Make sure the link is above is correct. When we head back to the Kodi home screen, I'm going to click on System, click on Add-ons, click OK, Install from Zip File, select that link we made earlier, click on that Zip File. Now on the bottom right corner, you should see Add-on Enabled. Okay, you want to stay on the same screen, um, the Add-on section, and you want to click on Install from Repository, click on Echo Repository, click on Program Add-ons, and then you will click on Echo Wizard. Go ahead and click Install. It's going to download Extract. And again, on the bottom right corner, you should see that it's been installed correctly. Add-on enabled. Now, to access the Echo Wizard, you want to go back to the Kodi home screen. Click on Programs, and you should see the Echo Wizard there. All right, so you just have the Echo Wizard installed. Definitely take the time to explore what this thing has to offer. Very, very awesome wizard. Thank you, YouTube, for watching my video. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for future videos. Drop a comment if you found this helpful. And uh, thank you for watching. Much appreciated.